Hello again. My name is Minister Anthony Mullins. I'm one of the servants here at the Fountain. And this is Wednesday's Word. I'd like to share with you today, putting Jesus first. Scripture is Matthew 6, verse 33. It says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added. You know, as we seek Jesus, oftentimes we seek things, and the Word of God is telling us to seek Jesus. You know, when we have a relationship with Christ, we're going to desire to put Him first. I know many of us, we're busy, we're challenged, we, there's so many things going on in the day. You wake up in the morning and you hit the ground running. But remember, to put Jesus first in your job, in your family, in your home, every aspect of your life, let us put Jesus first. You know, there's a story of a woman in Mark chapter 5. It, it, she, was, she had an issue of blood and she had spent all that she had and it's almost at the end that she saw Jesus. And she said, if I could but just touch the hem of his garment, I know I would be made whole. And she was made whole. But look, she had to go through all the process of losing all her resources to finally come to Jesus. But if you put Jesus first this morning, or at any time in your life, he will take care of every aspect of your life. Because it says, seek him first, everything else will be added. And he, does, he put his word above his name. So we have to trust him today. How do we know we're putting Jesus first? First of all, we have to have a passion for Jesus. You have to have a passion to give him first place in your life. He has to have the first thing, the first of your time. You don't put him as a to-do list. He takes first priority. He loves you and he desires to give us everything, but we need to put him first. What is it that you have to do today? that you, why you can't put Jesus first. Because when we recognize and put him first, the other things we have to do, he's gonna take care of it. But when you put him as a leftover, what does that say about your relationship with him? You love your kids. In fact, as a parent, if it's, you're gonna eat something or it's gonna be your kid, you're gonna give it to your child first. Why? Because you love them and you want them to have the best. And so with us as Christians, and even if you don't believe as an unbeliever, Try it and see what passions you have this morning. Put God first in that and watch what he will do for you. I'm just encouraging you when you think of all the things that God has done for us. In fact, by the time you hear this, this is a passion a week is gone and Easter has gone. And during the time of Lent, most people, they will have fasted and prayed and done all these things. But now that it's over, they get back to normal. But our normal life should be putting Jesus first in everything that we do. I encourage you and I dare you today, try it. Give him a try and see what God can do when you start to put him first. God bless you. Have a nice day.